The lottery has to be the stupidest thing you can do for yourself financially. Imagine this. I tell you, hey, let me get some of your money and I put it here and you're never getting any back. You wouldn't do it. And even when you win the lottery, yeah, you won the lottery, so successful. But the problem is, is it was the stupidest financial decision you could ever do because the chance of winning the lottery is one in 300 million. You're not winning the lottery. So to even do that and to win, you wonder why lottery winners go broke. It's because they made the stupidest financial decision they could have made is play the lottery. You don't know how to spend money. You're spending it on the lottery, which is basically just gambling money away for no reason. And if you really understand the way the lottery works, the lottery was made by governments. Governments are the ones that are winning and profiting off of the lottery. The first ever recorded lottery was in the Han Dynasty. And it was a government project to fund the Great Wall of China. Think about that. They basically used the lottery, this illusion of you might win the lottery to basically take the money from their people to then fund the Great Wall of China. The Roman Empire did this to basically repair the city. And then England did this for three years to basically create the royal fleet. And as long as someone wins in the future, then this is okay. It's almost like those sweepstakes that we saw on the back of the yogurts. And we're like, yeah, who's winning this free cruise? No one's winning the free cruise. And that's the problem, is that these systems, these sweepstakes, these lotteries, are just ways for governments to take money from the people to fund their own selfish desires and needs. For example, the Mega Millions, where it gives all this money, is owned by the state of Illinois. That is a problem. It's just a government-backed system in order to take money that's also untaxable. Again, there's all these loopholes, and this is the problem. Playing the lottery is the dumbest thing we can do for our own financial security. This, in turn, creates this thing called sudden wealth syndrome, where we just want to get rich quick, right? And the money, the money, the money, it's this rat race of, I want to get lucky. And even if you were to get lucky and you win the millions, you don't even know what to do when you win because you don't have any financial intelligence because, again, you play the lottery. So because you have no financial intelligence, you're not realizing what you're doing to yourself. And say you're playing it just as a game, right? You're just hoping, yeah, I'm playing as a game, right? That money could be used for something. You could invest that money. You could use that money to buy something for yourself. It's something that you're actualizing, right? But you're not because you're playing this game, right? But imagine a game where you just throw money into knowing you're probably not going to get anything out of it. That's not the way life should work. And again, getting rich quick is not something that is sustainable for your mindset, nor is it good for you even if you were to win. That is why multiple people who win the lottery go broke. They have no understanding of what money does and how it is a tool to advance them in life. Financial literacy is, again, one of the most important things in this life to know how to make money go far, right? Can you make $100 turn into 110? Can you make 110 turn into 200? Again, knowing how to stack your chips. When you play the lottery, even if you were to win, do you know what to do with $100 million? If someone gave you that, you'd, okay, you'd probably buy a house, buy this, buy this, etc. There's a story recently that I learned from a realtor and where this person bought a house, bought a house for $2 million. But this person didn't know what it meant or what the upkeep was on a house that actually cost $2 million. How to cut the lawn, how to do this, all the maintenance you need, the school tax, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now years later, they're selling the house. You know why they're selling the house? Because they didn't understand what it meant to have a $2 million property. And we're not even talking something crazy, right? $2 million isn't like the most insane, lavish place. But imagine on a place that costs $10 million. You buy all these different cars, the different insurances, what happens if it crashes, what happens if it? There's so many different things that people do when they spend all this big money that they end up going broke. They end up selling all the things they already had. They bought it, went broke, sold it all. It happens to so many professional athletes who don't have good financial intelligence or financial literacy. It happens all the time to people. Why? Because financial literacy is more important than the actual sense of money. So first and foremost, having financial literacy and knowing what to do with it is important. And anyone with that amount of that financial literacy most likely doesn't play the lottery. And let's say, for example, you have financial advisors. You're ready. You won the lottery. You, you jigged the game, right? You got lucky. You know what to do with money. You have it. Great. But you're forgetting that this could also strain relationships. People can find out, oh, they won the lottery. Oh, now what? People are going to ask you for money. It's loud. It's obnoxious. Winning the lottery can have so many more cons than it does pros. And again, even if you were to, right? And again, it is not just funding you. You're not just winning $100 million, but that's going to get taxed. It's, it's highly taxable. You're not actually winning the full hundred million and the money could not come to you 100% right away. Or if you do, you're taking this huge deductible on the money you're actually winning. So regardless, it's this rabbit hole of it all ends up going back to the government. And that's the main problem is you buying into it is just supporting the government and doing these types of things. And that's something that I personally cannot stand about the lottery system. All in all, please do not play the lottery. And again, me personally, as someone who's Muslim, I will not be gambling or on anything, nor will I be playing the lottery. But if you do so, please do responsibly. I don't know what to tell you. It's not a good decision to do it regardless. Don't fund the government. Don't fund all these different things. Make sure you take your money and you spend it on your family, spend it on yourself in proper ways. I would rather you invest in yourself. Do the right thing. All in all, playing the lottery is the stupidest financial decision you could probably make.
So please think twice about it before you buy a Mega Millions ticket. If you guys enjoyed this video or, or know things about this or know someone who won the lottery and lost it all or any crazy story, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I personally cannot stand the lottery system. It's something that just frustrates me to no end. And I just hate everything about it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'm looking forward to talking to you again. I'll see you next week.